So in this video, we are going to see what are the power options. Power options are very important how you want uh, your PC to run. So let me pull up. <coughs> so they become more like you see power and sleep settings, edit power plan, choose a power plan. These are the thing uh, they imagine um, you do a lot of work at uh, your PC and whenever you come it's either you know the um, when, uh, when you leave your PC and when you come back the hard disk was stopped and so if you left a program running that stopped as well and you know if you were like doing for example if you were compiling a no I don't like it's not compiling let's say compiling a video and there is another word for that I it missed uh, slipped my mind so if you were doing that that will be halted or paused as well because the hard disk went to sleep and then there is another option <clears throat> that's good to save energy uh, save power uh, on a laptop right so for the laptop you might consider that so if I walk away leave my laptop uh, um, by accident on then it should go do that to conserve the maximum energy but on desktop it's not good so these are the power options that you can check <coughs> so there are three plans I think the uh, one was the like uh, uh, energy saver the other one was balanced then third one was uh, I think it was uh, most efficient or most powerful something like that so you see additional power setting change power mode uh, so there, there are different options. When plugged in, turn off after 10 minutes. This is the screen, so the screen will go off. And then performance and energy. Do you want best performance that will require it to use more energy right there? Or it you want best energy saving basic that will <clears throat> save more energy but impact your performance a little bit? Uh, let's see what else we have. Tablet mode this battery so power and sleep very small simple additional power settings you can go to power option yeah control panel so you have to go to power option and what is it is this a uh, yep that's the Bing search we don't want that so let's go to power option this is where I already uh, always played not already <coughs> where I always played <coughs> So I had a desktop I wanted it to run um, at uh, maximum and I kept this one and then I had a laptop um, it, the battery was dying so I wanted to keep it uh, <coughs> on the other thing the power saver or something so right now you see it's balance this machine is balanced if I go to my home uh, my host machine I don't know how, what did I do with that power setting um, let's go to control panel then let's go to my host machine control panel power should be somewhere here power options and you see it's oh it's unbalanced as well the other one is power saver and you can change that and high performance I don't remember which computer I put hard high, high performance I think it's the other desktop I will show you what's in each thing so let's go here <coughs> right now it's not uh, like it said to balance change setting that currently unavailable so you can see the change plan and then change setting turn off the display same turn change advanced power setting that's the one probably is and here you can choose everything what's under balance what is high performance what is power and then there is this one ultimate performance this is everything nothing goes to sleep everything says power on and they can use the maximum power so you can see <coughs> right here setting maximum performance so everything that can actually consume more power or needs to be available or something something is turned off in the other setting every in the ultimate performance everything is on or <coughs> so on balance for example if we go to Internet Explorer Java time maximum performance desktop it is available so it is balanced I think that is that they are turned off when they are not in use enable <coughs> USB can I make it bigger no 
enable power button action shut down so moderate power saving so there is moderate power saving in terms of PCI Express that's and I believe in ultra performance it will say something else I can click on it change setting <coughs> it's not letting me change it because change that are currently available and now I can change it to off maximum power saving and then system cooling policy it's active what is the display turn off display after 10 minutes I can change it to never <coughs> or give it a very high number when sharing media permanent idling to sleep so this was this is the setting like prevent idling <coughs> if computer is detected as idle it will go to sleep and then your sharing uh, will stop video playback performance and when playing video optimize video quality so that will actually if video needs more power it will let it <coughs> that is balanced if we go to power saver see what we have turn hard disk after 20 minutes you see so hard disk goes bye bye <coughs> internet explorer maximum power set sa savings that's power savings and wireless adapter settings sleep enable like it goes to sleep <coughs> power button and late PCI Express maximum power saving so it's not some power saving it's saying maximum but if it's go to ultimate performance and see what the hardest sets to never desktop background settings wireless adapters sleep will be never I think it's a live enable uh, power button no USB PCI Express will be off so on the power management for the PCI Express PCI Express is always available and powered on and ready to go <coughs> as soon as you plug in so this is the you see uh, different power option display turn off display after 15 minutes prevent idling so <coughs> this is the power option or settings that you can do advanced power setting restore default setting for this plan so if you change made any changes just by accident and you can click here and it will restore everything to the default of the plan that you have that is balanced <coughs> so additional plans is only available I believe the high performance and ultimate is only available in Windows 10 professional or enterprise <coughs> there was one more option where we could do the battery like in battery it was different power plants like these are the power plants when you are powered on with the DC power there was a plan that a uh, for battery I need to search that like that was totally different you can create a power plan from here you can name it something and then go next and choose the all these settings so you can turn off the display you want it never create and then you can go and choose the advanced settings in that one you see my custom plan so <coughs> create and choose what the power button does so here you can choose the power button restarts it or shuts down it shuts shuts it down or does nothing so let's where is the battery maybe I am on a desktop that's why it's not giving me the battery option let's see if there's battery <coughs> so I think that's what's happening like uh, I don't have the like uh, if I fire up my tablet it should show battery over there because that's where I used to see that uh, on my desk uh, on my laptop <coughs> and that's where I set up the settings so this is it uh, about the power settings uh, if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one